Okay, my fifth channel's bar here on Soy 4, opposite Hillary 2, and here is David R. Okay, we're having a beer together. David R has been on my live streams a couple of times. He's the a hat guy. He, he, the hat guy, yeah. <laughs> the hats all around the world. Hat, hats off to David. David's a great guy. He's looking very, very smooth, very, very healthy tonight anyway. And we're having a beer together. Cheers. I, I say we're having a beer together. He's just told me, he's just mentioned, uh, uh, I've got to tell you this, run your live streams, you drink far too much. <laughs> We've just been having a conversation about how much beer I drink. But anyway, this is David anyway, okay? Great to, great to meet him, great to meet him. Okay, so it's Steady Eddie here in the first week of my travels. And here I am, so far in Bangkok, an old favourite of mine. This first few days has been really, really lethargic. I suppose you could say lazy. I mean, the words lethargic and Bangkok don't really go together very well, do they? But nevertheless, I still feel a bit jet lagged. Starting off my travels, my winter travels, with six days in Bangkok. And I haven't done as much as I planned on doing, but you know, it's, it's, you know, it's still, it takes a while to recover from jet lag and all of that kind of stuff. You know, I, I suppose these, th this uh, six days in, in Bangkok is my opening credits. The opening credits uh, to my four month winter travels. Coming up, there will be Cambodia, and well, I'll, I'll make it up as I go along after that. But anyway, in this video, I filmed a little bit around Bangkok, and at the end of the end, uh, video, I will be showing the hotel that I've been staying, an old favourite of mine, which is worth having a look at again. So, as you all know by now, Bangkok is a huge, huge city, massive capital city. And there is so much to see, so many places to visit. It took me a long time to get to like this city. I mean, my first visit over 20 years ago, I kind of got lost. Because I like a place where you can walk around. I like a place where everything is within walking distance. And, that, and you know, that, that can be the case in some uh, cities, but definitely not Bangkok. It's massive. I mean, here we are at Khao San Road. This is my first ever visit to this place. And I've heard so much about it. Now, I got a tuk-tuk from Soy 4 to here, which was about 400 baht, something like that, each way. Probably a bit overpriced, but it is a hell of a journey. It really, really is a long journey. You know, I mean, the reason it took me so long to get to Khao San Road, never having visited there before, is because every time I've mentioned it to people, people say to me, don't bother. I've heard all kinds of negative stuff about Khao San Road. Some say it's the essential, uh, you know, backpack of heaven. Some say it's, you know, just full of young, spoiled uh, backpackers. I remember years ago, uh, you know, ch chatting to someone back home, and I mentioned Bangkok, and, and they said, oh, I love Khao San Road. And I said, well, I've never been there. And this guy said to me, You've never been to Khao San Road and you call yourself a traveller. I mean, he seems to think that this place is the essential place to visit in Bangkok. Well, I actually came here today and I've done a live stream from here. And I actually like the look of it. It looks like a, you know, a good, you know, good vibe to it. But very, very youthful. And I can't really see what, what's in it for me. I think I'm a bit too old for this place, to be honest with you. But it's nice to visit it anyway. Look like some nice little cafes and restaurants. Now, I've got to know Bangkok, or part of it anyway, over the years. But I have uh, been been staying in the Soy 4 area uh, on my last few visits to this place. Now, the advantage of that, Soy 4, it's close to Nana Plaza and, you know, the well-known bars and Sukhumvit and all that. Uh, the, the good thing about staying there is that everything you need in Soy in so 4 is within walking distance. I'm staying at a hotel, an old favourite of mine, at the end of Soy 4. I can walk to the bars in, you know, five minutes. 
And really, if you visit Bangkok, you can stay in the Soi Phor area. And if you want to eat and drink and have fun, then you don't really need to go anywhere else. So that, that is the advantage of it. The disadvantage of it is that if you're just going to stay around Soi Phor all the time, Bangkok doesn't seem like a city anymore. You know, it feels like you're in the same little corner of a city. So, personally, you know, I found my little stay in Soi Phor here to be, you know, a little bit less than exciting, maybe because I've seen it all so many times. So I think the next time I come to Bangkok, I'm going to stay somewhere else. I might even stay here in this Khao San Road area. You know, it's, it, you know, there may be a lot of young people around, but it certainly looks like it's got a lot to offer anyway. I'm told that it's far uh, livelier in the evening uh, than it is in the daytime. Starting to see an awful lot of this this wacky backy stuff around. Is ca is cannabis called wacky backy or is that something else? I don't do it personally. I just I just don't do it. But you know it's you know it's been much publicised now. You know there's a lot of a lot of these uh, these these shops, these cannabis shops, springing up all over the place. But I would, you know, I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't be too hopeful if that really is your thing because they could easily do a U-turn on it. A lot of the bars that you see around have signs saying "Don't do it here" or else. And, um, you know, there's certain, you know, government ministers who, who, who want to do a U-turn and start banning it again. I don't know. I'm just glad that I don't do it. Anyway, that was a nice little visit this afternoon to this area. It does have a good uh, feel. It's very, very, very different than, um, you know, the Sukhumvit area. I mean, when you're in this Khao San Road area, you don't see too many skyscrapers around. So it feels like a very different part of the city. Managed to do a live stream while I was here. It was good fun. Sat down for a couple of beers. Okay, it's time to get a tuk-tuk back. Like I say, you know, 400 bar. Some say it should be less than that in a tuk-tuk. But it is a hell of a journey. Anyway, back at Soi Far now. And here comes the rain. I kind of like this. It's got a kind of, you know, futuristic look about it. You know, like a scene from Blade Runner when you see Bangkok in the rain. Amazing city. And I do love Soi Far, but it's just the problem is that if you just stay here too long, you end up cocooned in this place. And I really need, on my, on my next visit to Bangkok, I'm going to get out and explore a bit more. Now, this here is Hillary 2, and for me, I think that this is the best live band venue anywhere around this area. Really, really is good stuff. Goes on until the early hours of the morning, and it, it's just a damn good night if you like live music. Really well worth a visit. Further down, so far, you've got a really good little bar across the road there, Heaven. Uh, that's a really good little bar there with some nice music. And this is a nice little restaurant across the road. Looks tasty there, doesn't it? You know, fries and curry and all that kind of stuff. So that was a nice curry, nice fries and a bottle of Leo beer. The total amount... 330 Thai baht, and I'd say that that's quite reasonable value. So here's the hotel I've been staying in for six nights. It's one I've stayed in many, many times, and I have done a review of it before, about three years ago. It's called the Royal Ivory, and it is on Soi 4. Uh, at the lower end, it's about, oh, it's about 10 minutes walk away from Nana, something like that. It's a good area, good safe area. It's got a swimming pool on the top. 
and it's a nice comfortable room. I'm not too sure about breakfast this time. I'm, I, I don't actually know if uh, the breakfast is up and running. I've been staying here without breakfast. But here's the room. Now, it's not the most glamorous room you've ever seen, but for about 23 UK pounds a night, that's about 27 US dollars, something like that. For 23 pound a night in a capital city, I'd say that this is quite amazing value. There you go. You, there's a water dispenser outside. You can fill those up. It's a nice spacious room. You know, a bit old fashioned, a bit rough around the edges, but I like it. It's nice and clean. Nice big comfy bed there. You've got a safe in here. It's got Wi-Fi, which is a little bit on the weak side, but it's it's usable. You've got a kettle there, which is essential for my morning coffees. An old-fashioned TV there, and it's got a it's got an old-fashioned fridge. I think old-fashioned is the word for this hotel. It's called the Royal Ivory, and I've stayed in it many times, and I think it's great value. It's got aircon. The view is okay, I suppose. There's absolutely not, nothing wrong with this room. It's nice and spacious. And like I say, where, where could in a capital city anywhere in the world, where could you get £23 a night for this? In England, this would probably be about, about bloody 10 times the price. Bangkok is still great value. I mean, you know, the hotels are still, you can still get great value hotels here. Okay, it's nice and spacious downstairs, the reception area. You've got a massage place there. It's early in the morning there, so the girls haven't started work yet. Now, a taxi from here, from this hotel to your hotel in Pattaya, will cost 1,400 baht. Just 1,400 baht for a taxi from Hotel Bangkok to Hotel Pattaya, which I'd say is amazing value. Okay, so I've enjoyed my six nights in Bangkok. That's six nights. I didn't do as much in Bangkok as what I wished that I'd have done. But uh, I suppose it's like the opening credits uh, to my big traveling adventure this w winter time. There'll be a lot more to come over the coming months. But for now, I'm heading to Pattaya. And uh, whoa, where did this come from? The weather's been really good up to now. Apparently this rain's going to be on for a few days here anyway. So um, so this is the hotel where I'm staying in Pattaya. I'm going to be here for a week and then go to another one. And this is good value also. Oh well. Well thanks for watching anyway. There'll be plenty more videos to come. And what else can I say? Welcome to Pattaya. Cheers.